This video is going to show you how to linearize data using Logger Pro from information or data collected from a probe. To begin with, I've got this little experiment where I set the experiment set up and I started the Logger Pro, began collecting data, ran over to the experiment, started the experiment, then ran back to Logger Pro and stopped collecting data. The reason why I'm telling you this is because on this graph there's information here that is not actually part of the experiment. So what I need to do to analyze this, I need to get rid of that part of the da data. To do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the section that I don't want. So it's down here, this is the part where I was probably running over and it was just sitting there waiting for something to happen. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to strike out these data cells. So I'll go down to strike through data cells from the edit menu. And it will strike through the data cells or data cells. All set. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this. I just clicked on the screen to kind of get rid of that little highlighted section. And I'll click up here on the letter A on the icon. And I'll auto scale it, or I can right click and choose auto scale. This gives me one more feature. If I wanted to, I could auto scale from zero, but I'm just going to auto scale this time. So when I look at this, I see here's my, my curve, and my curve opens upwards. That means it's going to be a power curve. So it's something raised to a power. It's going to be my independent variable on the x axis will be raised to some kind of power. Now, the thing is, I don't have a graph for that, so what I need to do is I need to create a column of calculated data that's going to have time squared and then put it on the graph. And once I have that, then I'll find the equation for it and I'm all set. So I'm going to change my scale a little bit here. Change that, change my data table, move it over so I can see what's going on. I'll slide this over a little bit more. Slide that over a little bit more. There we go. So now you'll be able to see what's happening. Um, it automatically calculated the velocity and acceleration. I didn't ask for that, but that's fine. We're just going to ignore that and go with the time and the x uh, values. So for the time, I've got to square that. So what I'm going to do is create a calculated column. So I go to data and choose new calculated column. Now I need to tell it what to do. So this column is going to be time squared because I'm thinking, OK, it's a power function, so I'll raise it to a squared term in this case. Time. I could use caret in the number 2, but I don't want to do that. I want it to look nice. I'm going to go to the right, to the little arrow, drop down, and choose superscript 2. Short name is going to be T superscript 2. Do the same thing. Units will be seconds superscript 2. Now it's going to look real nice when it gets up there. The next thing I need to do is tell it how to calculate the columns so where it says expression. I'm going to click in that little box that got highlighted. And then I'm going to give it an equation. I'm going to have it take time and square it. So under variables, I'll choose time the column that's the time column and then I'm going to square it just like on a graphing calculator caret 2 and that will square it. Click on done. Great so in my columns on the left hand side I can see an orange it says time squared it's got the value squared but my graph hasn't changed now I need to change the graph. I'm going to go to the x-axis where it says time click on it left clicking if it matters and choosing time Oops, sorry, not time, time squared. There we go. Uh, I straightened it out a little bit. I might have some more data that I didn't mean to get down here at the bottom. But anyways, we'll, we'll go with this. And now I need to find an equation for this uh, line. Because that's my whole purpose is to linearize the data. So I want a, a linear equation. So I've selected my icon up here. It looks like a straight line on the curve. And it gave me the data. It says linear fit for latest position. And it says x equals mx plus b. So there seems to be something going on here just with the, the program. The math is right, just the way it's represented up here. I know that x should be the y-axis, which is position, which would be the variable x. And horizontally, that should be time squared, because that's down here on the x-axis. The um, independent axis is time squared, so that really should be t squared. It comes out as x for some reason. So this equation is actually saying if I replace the axis with the name of that part of the graph, this equation is actually not x equals mx plus b, but position is equal to m times squared plus b. So I replace the x and the y with whatever I've done on the axis. And that gives me my relationship right there so I can see that I've linearized the data and now I have also created an equation and I can make a prediction. Let's say you want to uh, have this because you're going to copy and paste the screen and put it into a word processor. What you want to make sure you do is make sure your, your statistics are large enough to be read. I'm going to double click on the statistics, click on the button that says appearance, and now it's set for a 10 point font. I'm going to go all the way up to a 24 point font. 
That way, when I put it on the screen, the numbers get small, I'll be able to read them. The other numbers on the screen, I cannot adjust. They're not adjustable. They're set when you open up the program based upon the screen resolution. So there's nothing I can do about that. But I can at least set this for the statistics and set that so it'll be read, uh, easily read when it goes into a word processing document.